All right, what's going on guys? It is your boy Havoc here. Today what I have for you guys is yet another tutorial on the channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a YouTube logo for free using a software known as Pixlr. Now I did do a tutorial earlier on how to make a YouTube logo, but a lot of you guys wanted me to do a Pixlr tutorial as well. So if this video does help you out, a like would be very much appreciated. Let's go for 200 likes. And as well as go ahead and hit the subscribe button for future tutorials and just various videos on the channel. Let me know what tutorial you guys would like to see next. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the first link in the description and that will take you to this page right here and click on create a new image. And we're going to make this 800 width and 800 height and click on transparent, click OK. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and quickly press on this double screen button right here just to give us a little more space to move around. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the text icon right here and click anywhere on the screen. And today I'm going to be using the font Call of Ops Duty for this logo. And uh, I'm just going to quickly show you guys where to find this font as well as plenty of other fonts uh, for you to download and install. Because personally, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like the default fonts and I like to have a lot more choices. So go ahead and click on the second link in the description. That will take you to this website right here. And there's thousands upon thousands of different fonts here for you to pick and choose from. I'm going to be using Call of Ops. So go ahead and search that up on the search bar right here. Go ahead and press search. And then from here, just click download and go ahead and download and install it. It's super simple, super easy to go ahead and do that. So whenever you want a certain font, just go ahead and click the download button and install it. And from there, once you get that done, go back to Pixlr and we're going to set the size to 130, the color to white and whatever letter that your channel starts with, you can use. So for instance, for me, Mine is the Havoc, so I could I could do A or I could do T, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do A for, for the heck of it. I kinda like how the A looks like, so I'm gonna do A for this tutorial. Click OK. So as you can see, um, the letter is still really small, so to change the size, you're going to have to rasterize this layer, so right click, rasterize layer before you do this though make sure it's on the letter that you want to keep because you won't be able to edit this afterwards so go ahead and click on rasterize and then from here click on edit free transform and from here we can change the scale remember if you don't want to change the proportions of the letter click and hold the shift button or else it'll change the proportions of the letter so we're going to change it to just about there and i'm actually going to make this a little skinnier because i think it looks better like that and I'm gonna rotate it just a tiny bit, just a tad bit over right about there and click yes, center it up just about, I would say about there. Now for me personally, this does not look that professional right now with the lettering. So I'm going to go ahead and Google search polygon texture. And from here you can just search up different polygon textures um, to put on your lettering. So it doesn't matter what color uh, these polygon textures are. You can always change that in Pixlr. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And you from here, you can just view image and go ahead and put it on your desktop. Go back to Pixlr. And we're going to go to Layer, Open Images Layer. And if you save that image onto your desktop, you can find it. So go ahead and open it up. And there it is right there. Based on how big this image is, I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit Free Transform and change the scale. Make sure you hold on the Shift button uh, so the proportions don't change, just like I said before. Make sure it goes all the way over this lettering. And I'm going to go ahead and actually tilt it a little bit, make it a tiny bit bigger so it's all over the lettering, and click Yes. Now this is going to be a little tricky. Uh, just follow, just make sure you listen and follow the instructions. Click on the A layer, make sure you're on the A letter or whatever uh, layer your text is on. Go ahead and click on the magic wand button and click pretty much on where the letter you think is. Right click, invert selection, go back to layer 
whatever layer your polygon texture is on and then click delete and there it is right there so now your lettering and I'm just gonna click on this lasso tool just to get out of that double click and so from here obviously your lettering looks a lot better I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the a layer right here wherever your text was originally go back to your polygon texture right click go to layer styles and I'm going to set an outer glow of 100 opacity, 10 hardness, and 10 size, and a color of white. Click OK, and then click OK again. So there's your lettering right there. Now, if you want to change the color, like I, I haven't said this before, if you want to change the color of the polygon texture, you can go to Adjustment, Hue and Saturation, and from here you can change the saturation so you can change the different colors so if you want to you want a green logo or a blue logo or like I had before this logo uh, you can do so so whatever color you want so from here I'm gonna go back to Google and type in space backgrounds and you can choose whatever you want to just try to find something that you enjoy and I scroll all the way down to this one right here and like I said before, it doesn't matter what color it is because you can change that in Pixlr. So I'm going to use this background right here, download it onto my desktop, and then go back to Pixlr, click on Layer, Open Image as Layer, and then I'm going to open up that image right here. And there it is right here. It's obviously way too big. So I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform, change the size of it to just about where it covers up the screen so pretty much about right there and I kinda wanna include all the planets right here so I think this looks pretty good right there click yes so from here I'm gonna change I'm gonna move this layer below the other one so I'm gonna hold and drag it below the text layer and I don't know why okay we still have this so if if this is shown up for you guys just click on this lasso tool and basically go around whatever piece is hanging out if that is the case double click just to get out of that and move the layer back to the center right there there we are and to change the back I'm gonna change a little couple couple changes right here I'm gonna to go to adjust hue and saturation I'm going to change the saturation to where it's a little more saturated, so probably about 30. Change the lightness to about negative 20, I would say, or 25. And from here, if you want to, you can change the hue. I'm just going to keep it um, probably bluish. But if you want, you can change it to purple. For me, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe it might look cooler if I did purple. So I think I'm going to change it to purple just about there and I might go to brightness and contrast and change the brightness just a little lower right here and change the contrast to negative 25 and brightness to probably negative 20 or so. I think that looks good about right there. And uh, like I said before, I'm going to go back to the text layer right here, go to adjustment, hue and saturation. So we're actually gonna change the saturation of this one to probably about 15 and the hue to pretty much purple right here. So I think I'm gonna make it like that. And I think that looks pretty cool right there. So I'm gonna make a couple more little effects to make this a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer. So right about here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the rectangle tool right here. Make sure it's on rectangle, and I'm gonna click and drag, and we're gonna do this on all the sides right here. You can pretty much eyeball it, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure the rectangles look fairly similar. And once you have all four sides done, go to filter, Gaussian blur, and we're gonna blur this to probably just about 130 or so maybe 140, click OK. So from here, I'm gonna make one more little minor change. Uh, I'm gonna go to the background layer right here that we have, and I'm gonna go to Filter, and I'm gonna do Caucasian Blur, 
And I'm going to do a blur of probably about 10. Um, and that kind of changes it and makes the lettering pop out more. I might do 15 actually. Um, and I think that makes the lettering pop out more. It makes it look a lot better. So I don't know about you guys, but I think this is my finished product. I'm pretty proud of this. Um, so once you guys feel like it is all finished and you feel proud about your logo, just go ahead and go to File, Save. And we're going to save it as a JPEG. Up the quality all the way to 100. That's very important. Click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and save it onto my desktop and save it as Logo Havoc. Something to remember, some kind of name that you'll remember and click save. And we're gonna back out of both of these windows. Make sure it's right here. There's the logo right there. So from here to put it actually onto your channel, you can go back to Google Chrome, go to your channel page right here. Now this is one of my older channels right here. So um, as you can see, this was my old logo uh, tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this camera icon right here to change it and go to edit. And we're gonna go ahead and upload the photo. Click on the logo right here, click open. And go ahead and click done. And there it is right there. So once you get back to your channel, as you can see, it takes some time for the logo to change. So just be patient. Um, it might take a couple hours for it to change. Um, but once it does, um, you'll have the new logo and everything. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. If you did, be sure to drop a like. And with that being said, it's been your boy Havoc here. And I hope you guys did enjoy. And I hope to see you guys on future uploads. Havoc out.